Everlane Hall Winter Wardrobe Essentials. So I probably just needed to listen to some of my own advice there. But the reality is I'm just not actually a very good cook. So oh, actually I'd quite like to keep that for myself. Hi everyone, I hope you're all well and feeling nice and organized, ready for the festive period. So today's video is one last hurrah before Christmas with one of my favorite brands for those classic, timeless winter wardrobe essentials. It's my final Everlane haul of 2021 and I can't wait to show you everything I chose. So grab yourself a cuppa, sit back, relax, and let me inspire you with some outfits and some last minute Christmas present ideas. So first up on my winter essentials rail would be a beautiful pair of the crew trousers that could enable me to do all those lovely winter white outfits that I love so much. Now I haven't seen this pair on Everlane before, so I'm assuming they're new in for their collection. These have been made from a fabric called Monskin. If you're not familiar with that fabric, it feels beautifully soft, almost like you're wearing velvet. Now the second thing to note is, I don't know why I did this, I think I did it by accident, but I've ordered these in a size six, and normally I think I wear a size four at Everlane. However, as you can see in this footage, these fit me perfectly. I definitely couldn't have gone a size down. So I've either put on weight or I'm meant to be a size six in this pair of trousers. Either way, I'm really not fussed about size labels. I do believe if you don't like seeing it, just cut it out. Go for the fit that looks nicest on your body shape. I must apologize as well. I am still sounding very husky today from the awful cold I had. Um, what was it, the day before we went to Paris, which is so annoying. I didn't let it ruin our trip away, but I must admit I've had quite a few sofa days this week. And I am feeling better, actually. I think I just sound worse than I feel, to be honest. Now, what I love about this pair of trousers is compared to, say, in summer, where I would wear a pair of white jeans and do that all-white look, in winter you kind of feel the need, or I feel the need, to have a slightly thicker fabric and I think that's what you're getting from this small skin. Along with being really lovely to the touch, it feels more appropriate for winter. But if you didn't want to do a winter white look, I do think there are lots of options with a pair of trousers like this. I think they would look great with Breton stripes, either classic navy or maybe the burgundy reds. I would wear those with virtually all of my snuggly knits, I think that's always a winner. And you could even smarten them up a bit, wear them with a nice set of Blouse, maybe a blazer over the top. So lots of different outfit ideas for those. I like them a lot. Now thinking about those last minute Christmas present ideas, don't panic because there's still time to shop at Everlane. And I picked up this beautiful cashmere crew neck that I'm wearing, which was meant to be for David. I say meant to be because I did, with all good intentions, choose it in an extra large. However, once it's arrived and I tried it on for the purpose of this video, I kind of thought, oh, actually, I'd quite like to keep that for myself. So whether you're still looking for a few Christmas gifts for other people or, like me, gifting things to yourself, don't panic because there is a couple of days left to do that shopping at Everlane. Now Everlane used grade A cashmere, so it's really the creme de la creme of that yarn. We've all been there, I'm sure, and bought cashmere that's bobbled to with an inch of its life, and it's really annoying because it's not the cheapest thing in the world. But I can hand on heart say, Everlane's cashmere is such high quality, it really doesn't do that. I've got a couple of pieces there that are three, possibly four years old, and they've got three or four bubbles on them. It really is that minimal. So beautiful quality as always, a lovely new in color on their website, and a happy accident with that sizing. I am very happy with my Christmas present to me. Sorry, David. These are the Italian leather Chelsea boots, new in on Evelyn's website. This was a bit of an interesting one, actually, because I loved them when I saw them on the website, so I added them to cart. When they arrived, I was kind of like, mm, I'm not sure if they're really my style. But then when I tried them on with a few different outfit ideas, I fell in love with them again. Isn't it weird how that happens, that sometimes you just need to try something on with a very you kind of outfit to get the gist of whether you like it or not? And then I think that's what happened with these. They are quite different from my usual style of ankle boots. I often go for some sort of heel, I like a pointed toe, um, neither of which are featured on this pair of boots. And maybe that's why it works. I've stepped myself out of my comfort zone, which I always advise you should do. So I probably just needed to listen to some of my own advice there. 
onto a lovely pair of jeans which I am very very happy with. These are Everlane's way high jeans which I have ordered in the light indigo. First things first I absolutely love the colour I think they've got that vintage blue shade spot on. These have got a straight leg and as the name would suggest a very high waist. Jeans are kind of an essential in my wardrobe all year round. I do wear them an awful lot and in winter I just find them so easy to mix and match with either a lovely jumper maybe a nice blouse they're just very, very versatile. I suppose traditionally in winter, you could go for a darker shade of denim if you wanted to. I just have a bit of a love for this light blue shade, so I tend to wear it all year round. Now these jeans have got such a nice shape to the leg that I think they look nice both ways either with a turn up or just leaving the legs straight down. And as a bit of a bonus, these are actually made from organic cotton, so it just makes me like them even more. So we've got just under a week before Christmas and I am feeling so disorganised. My tree is up and it looks lovely so I'm very pleased with that. And then I was feeling the pressure from the neighbours who had all decorated outside of the house beautifully and we had a few really pathetic lights in a bush. So I kind of upped my game on that front last night and put all twinkly lights around the door. I haven't thought well, I'm going to cook for Christmas dinner and certainly not any extravagant recipes. But part of me wants to be like Delia on Christmas Day and have this amazing feast for my family. But the reality is I'm just not actually a very good cook so it would never look like that. I kind of get to the stage where I think if I see one more post on Instagram where someone has wrapped every single present and they're already on prepping their homemade Christmas cake, I think I might cry with disappointment at my own abilities. So anyway, if you have any tips or tricks or maybe like a brilliant recipe that will make me look far more talented in the kitchen than I actually am, do let me know in the comment section below. I would be very grateful for that. Now some of you might remember seeing this felted merino half sit jumper that I got from Everlane last month. Now if you follow me over on Instagram, which I'm very grateful if you do, you will have seen that I tend to wear this an awful lot. So much so that I decided to go for it in the plum grey as well. This half sip is particularly on trend. I've seen that an awful lot for this winter 2021. So that's the first tick there. Secondly, the merino that they've used is pretty chunky, so it's very, very warm. It makes it a really practical winter wardrobe essential. And I am definitely of the opinion that staple pieces in your wardrobe don't need to be boring in the slightest, actually. When you find pieces like this in beautiful quality and a lovely collection of shades, they can actually end up being standout pieces. So this tone is called the Plum Grey, and I went for it in a size medium. And as you will see in that footage there, I've styled it in this outfit idea with the way high skinny jeans, got a pair of ankle boots on, and finished the look with a beautiful new in handbag. My first thought when I saw this was that it would go really nice with this dress. This is the knitted tube dress that I bought from Cos in the summer, I think. But making use of it throughout winter, I thought those two tones go beautifully together. And another idea that I really love is pairing my chunky knit jumpers or cardigans with some sort of silk element on my bottom half, so maybe a pair of silk trousers or a silk midi skirt. It's the mixture of textures that I think one really works and looks quite unexpectedly chic. Now the only piece in this entire Everlane haul that I'm not completely sure about, so I would really like your opinion actually, would be this pair of 90s cheeky denim jeans. So these are them in the wash black and I went for them in my usual size 28. First of all, I noticed on their website that it says our customers are noticing that these come up large, so we would recommend sizing down. And I would say they're coming up large on the hip section. As you can see, there's a good couple of inches there on either side of me and I don't particularly have small hips, so it does seem slightly big at that section. But if I had a size down like they recommend you do so, I don't think I would be able to do the button up at the waistband. It's quite tight already and that's going with my usual size. So I'm just not sure if shape-wise it's all working as it should be. Saying that, when I watched this footage back and I looked at the outfit idea, I actually really like them on, more so than I did when I looked in the mirror. So I think it's one of those that might come down to personal taste and also of course depending on your body shape. Now I've styled these pretty simply so you can really see the shape of the jeans. 
I'm just pairing them with a lovely new in cotton t-shirt that one's in the grey mile there but I did want to mention their t-shirts because they are such lovely quality and lots of them made from organic cotton that when it comes to those winter wardrobe essentials I would always recommend their cottons actually I went for that one in the grey that's plain and then I've got that slightly pinky tone mar one with the pocket and then also I went for the white with the pocket as well so I'm a big fan of their cotton t-shirts both with the short sleeves and the long sleeve versions as well. Everlane have got a really good selection of jeans and I've been very lucky over the last couple of years to try out lots of their different pairs. And I would say that my favourites that I've tried so far are the really high skinny ones that I got in dark indigo. I've worn those heaps actually. I love my slouchy ones that have got a very tiny bit of distressed detailing. And I really do like this new in pair that I've got here. But I do think when it comes to jeans, it's very much personal taste. I think we all like something different. I would say forget about trends, just go with what really suits you, what suits your shape and what makes you feel comfortable. Because ultimately, if like me, you wear jeans an awful lot throughout all of the different seasons, you want to start with comfort and then everything else will fall into place. Talking of comfort and something that I personally love to receive on Christmas day, would be a lovely set of loungewear. So I went for this lovely jogger set in a tone that they call field green. Now if you've ever bought Evelyn's French Terry before, you will remember that it's quite heavyweight. These ones are quite different because they're very much a lighter weight version. No less quality, they feel beautiful to wear, and actually they drape really nicely because of the nature of that fabric. So you've got the hoodie there with a slightly contrasting toggle at the front, and then the jogger portion with the matching toggle, and then you've got the little embroidered Everlane details. Now I went for these in a medium and I am nearly five foot eight. I always mention the nearly part, that half an inch is important to me. And I would say they are a perfect fit, whereas I was imagining they would be a little bit more oversized. So if you are thinking about buying the jogger set for yourself or maybe as a Christmas present for somebody else, I would advise sizing up once, possibly twice if you like things really oversized, as these are just fitting me almost like a true to size. So so that's how I would style it when I'm out and about but this is definitely the sort of thing I would wear when I'm at home, I've finished work, I've turned the camera off and I'm getting cosy and comfy on the sofa. Another couple of Christmas gift ideas, firstly with this beautiful scarf that I went for in a crew. Now this one has been made from the same felted merino as the half zip jumpers. So really lovely quality and quite a chunky yarn. Now I actually went for this for my lovely friend, but I will just quickly show you what it looks like on in terms of length. So I normally wear scarves, something like that. Um, but as you can see, nice and long, quite chunky, coming quite high up on the neck to keep it nice and toasty. I thought that would be a lovely Christmas present. And then either to go with this or as a separate present for somebody else, you could go with the matching beanie as well. This one has been made from wool and just a tiny bit of stretch in there as well. Do you love a beanie and always much needed in a great British winter. So it's really worth having a look at Everlane's selection of accessories because it's always a bit of a go-to for me for stocking fillers, Christmas gift ideas for friends, family, and of course the boys. So hopefully you agree some lovely winter wardrobe essentials from Everlane there and some lovely ideas for Christmas too. Don't forget to let me know your favorites in the comments section below. It's always really nice to hear everyone's different opinions. And before you go, I did want to say a huge thank you to all of you for all of your support this year. I love having my channel, getting to talk about my favorite subject, fashion, with the loveliest bunch of women all around the world. I do honestly have to pinch myself how lucky I am. So thank you for being you, genuinely. I am really grateful for every single one of my subscribers and all those really lovely comments you leave me. The only downside of my channel growing is that I can't reply to everybody and it really frustrates me actually. So hopefully with a couple of weeks off, I can catch up with everyone in the comments section and reply to all those lovely messages. But I do read every single one of them and I'm very grateful for your support. So I am going to take a couple of weeks off for Christmas, maybe practice my cooking skills spend time with the boys and David and just generally have a little bit of a rest. But I will be back in the new year with lots more outfit ideas and inspiration for 2022. Have an amazing Christmas everyone, here's to you and a very healthy and happy new year. See you soon.